say back to school means planning lots of quick breakfasts, lunches to go, afternoon snacks, and if you have any energy left, and I totally get this, a lot of times you don't, a healthy sit-down meal for dinner. Whew, that is a lot of work. Then imagine a lot if of moms you have, do that every day. I was going to say, then imagine if you have kids. <laughs> 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 Here to help make some of that a little bit easier with simple recipes is local mom Lisa Longley. She's the creator of the blog Wine and Glue. Welcome to the Morning Hi. Blend. Great to see you. Yeah. Great to be here. Uh -huh. This is great. I love anything that makes our lives easier. Yes. Well, hopefully a couple of these things will. That's great. Oh, you know, it's funny. Let's start over here because I see that you've got this jar. And it reminds yes, me, I we did that. a mason jar yeah. um, segment devoted just to things that you can put in a jar. But hey, Salads. it is such a convenient way Drinks. to take a meal on the go. It is. And this is meant to be just that. So this is a quinoa berry parfait. Okay. And you can make it the night before. Great. You cook up a ton of quinoa and you can use it all week long. I like and that. And then the night and you before. you can freeze it too. I'll just add that. You can I freeze it. I didn't know that. Little snack bags or uh, sandwich bags. And quinoa is like all protein. It is. It is. It's, um, it's like one of the only complex grains. Mm -hmm. So it's got a ton of protein in it. And then you add some yoplait, which each original Yoplait also has six grams of protein. Aren't there like a bazillion flavors? There are so many <laughs> flavors. So I did berry, but obviously, you know, I have, I think I have peach here and cherry. I love peach. I mean, you I could cherry. throw fresh cherries mm. and fresh peaches in instead. And then you'd have something completely different. And you This could is great, because if you tried doing this with granola, it would get all soggy. Yeah. yeah. You know? True. Yeah. And True. mine's not turning out very pretty at all right now. I think it is. But it will still taste <laughs> really good. It was so, it was so nice. <laughs> it's pretty. I think it's pretty. The thing is, you can bring that jar to work. Think about us, yeah. Tiff. Or you can send it with your kids. You should make totally. some of those for us. <laughs> totally. <laughs> and you, one of these would make you feel so full all morning long. Perfect. Yeah, that's loaded with protein Easy. from the yogurt. Yummy. So right. one, then you've got your fruit all right. in one jar. And it's they're so yummy. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, this is really what's next? cute. Oh, that's adorable. Right. So then you can take your empty container and make one of these fun DIY pencil holders. Love it. Yep. And so you just go to the craft store and pick out any kind of different color paper. I went with very girly colors. That's okay. <laughs> I like that. Thank Every you. Every kid should have a, a pencil container in their room because they're, even if they don't do homework in their rooms, yeah. they do a lot of stuff in their room, whether it's writing in a journal. Oh, totally. Or whatever. And these are so colorful and fun and, and easy. I love right, and my kids have their pencils all over the house. I picked one up off the floor this morning, actually. <laughs> yeah. So these would be perfect for them or perfect for lockers. Yeah, you oh, stick. You put magnets yeah, on the back. Yeah, you can put little magnets on the Super back. Super cute. And what then, did. yeah, and then these magnets are, I found these ones at the craft store. I'll hold it up to the camera there. I'm not sure if you can tell which angle okay. it is. But look at how she put these magnets here. Yep. Okay, so you can put it on your locker. A lot of kids bring extra pencils right. or markers, right. and you'd have it right there in your locker. And obviously, you can see how easy it is to make. Yeah, your kids can I make love them. That. Quick and easy. Yep. Yeah, super okay. easy. Talk to us about this easy so night meal. Yep, so this is the latest post I have up on my blog. It's mm -hmm. a one pot Southwestern Alfredo pasta dinner. Love that. That's and good, it also it. has a lot of protein in it. You know, you've got chicken, beans, and I love that it's one pot. So you start with your pot and you saute up some red pepper. Okay. And then you pull mm. that out. You fill it with water. You boil up your pasta. And mm -hmm. at the very end, you throw in some frozen corn. Okay. And then you drain it all, and so then you get this. Okay, so in here you've got your pasta, which has been cooked, and your frozen corn. Yep. Okay. And then you just throw in your chicken. And okay. you could use rotisserie chicken. Yes. I love using rotisserie chicken. I do too. It makes it so easy. Oh, so black beans, the red peppers that yep. you um, sauteed for a little bit. Yep. And, and then what then, makes the Alfredo? So just a jar of store-bought Alfredo sauce. Easy. Wow. So easy. Okay. It's so funny because my daughter wrote, uh, wrote this. She's in uh, seventh grade. Things you should know about me. <laughs> One of them was I love pasta. <laughs> I mean, she's a girl after my own so, heart. Yeah. <laughs> so this meal would be a, a sure hit probably uh -huh. for a lot of kids. I know. I love pasta too. And so do my kids. Then? And then just two tablespoons of store-bought taco seasoning. It smells good. Yeah. Oh, that is easy. Where where can so people find that easy. recipe? I love that. Wineandglue.com. Okay. And then if you go to my website, you will see these are the latest three Yum. posts. So Do you, you serve this cold or hot? 
You serve it hot, but okay. you know what I was thinking this morning? You totally could serve it cold. Yeah. And it would be a great like summertime uh -huh. barbecue side dish. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Lisa, should we cold. talk about the, uh, yeah, give it a taste. Should we talk about the yolk plate contest? Yes. Okay. If you go to. Oh, that's really good. You don't need to have that hot at all. No. Mm -mm. It's good. That's very good. Yoplate.com, I believe it's backs yep. 100 ways. Correct. Yes. Okay, and so what they're saying is they have more than 100 flavors that people can try. I said a mm -hmm. bazillion, but 100 is a little Pretty closer close. to um, being accurate. You can actually win 100 grand um, for just eating delicious you yogurt. Can. So what Yoplate is inviting people to do is to try one all 100 flavors for a chance to win this $100,000 prize. So enter the code on top of your Yoplate lid at yoplate.com slash 100 ways yep. and you will be entered for a chance to win one of more than 3,000 prizes. A lot of kids love yogurt in their lunches. We showed a great way to have it for breakfast. You can even make it a dinner dessert with a little fruit. And it, yeah, it's great. It's full of protein and it's great for, you know, before school snack, after school snack. It's awesome. During and you can combine snack. it with things to add more protein or more fruit yep. too, which is yeah. awesome. Your blog is wineandglue.com. I love that. Wineandglue.com to find out this great yes. recipe. I'm going to be making this, this this next couple days. I mm -hmm. promise you. It looks oh, good. good. looks fantastic. Thanks, Thank Lisa. You. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Lisa. Great to have you. Having me. <laughs> Just having I'm breakfast ready. now too. I'm ready. <laughs>